Hey garden friends, welcome back. We are going to take a tour of a nursery I've wanted to visit for a very long time. It is Cambria Nursery and Florist. And we're gonna start at the entrance, which is impressive in of itself. You know you have arrived when you have, when you see this. All right, let's get rolling. I'm walking to the entrance, but I couldn't get over this fence. Isn't this so cute? I love that fence. And it has these like peekaboo spots and then designs. I'm gonna have to take a close up picture. I may wanna do a fence like this someday. When I'm ready to spend a sizable amount of money, that would be a lot of carving out, wouldn't it? Oh, my husband has robots that will have a cutting capacity. Hmm, that's an idea. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. There's traffic behind me, but here's where you drive in and you can walk in. People are driving in now. But look at that, isn't that so pretty? It's all planted up. And then there are some plants here that I am totally new with. Look at this shrub. And as I get closer, look at those little flowers. I think that's just so gorgeous. I don't know if they have names on them. <laughs> I haven't looked that, but look at this one over here. It's pruned up into a little tree like form, but look at these flowers. Let me get my glasses on so I can see if they're getting in. Yes, into focus. Oh, look at this. So interesting. Now Cambria is near the coast, so they have mild weather. Look at this Mexican salvia. This is the ones that have the furry like flowers. I have tried to grow this at my house and it hasn't made it through the winter though it is supposed to be hardy in zone eight. I haven't checked and seen what hardiness zone this is. This looks like breath of heaven here to me. I wanna get a close up of these so I can see. It's a metal framework that, that is carved around. That is pretty, ooh, got a little bit of a breeze. Oh, here's another one of those little trees. Isn't that beautiful? So it's planted all along here. This is the parking lot. And all of these, just, just for the parking lot, I can imagine what it's gonna look like in there. So my husband is patiently waiting for me at this end. Ooh, look at this lavender, that's a big, big one. Oh, and here's a pretty Spanish lavender. See that? Oh, look at this one, this one's a little bit different colored. Beautiful. Okay, let's go in. Here is, let me see if I can get that to focus for you. Yep, there we go. Cambria Nursery and Florist. Oh, and they've got their resident kitty. Looks like it's old kitty. Hey, kitty kitty. This beautiful fountain. Here is what greets your eye as you walk through. Ah. Oh, okay, we'll go to the left. And then we'll turn to the right. Okay, this is vines, rosemary, and lavender. Beautiful pots. Oh, they have more of the obelisks I love. Oh, and these are like the ones I saw over there at the nursery down in Irvine. With a dragonfly and a butterfly. Let me see, what are these running in cost? So 
is 150, but I don't know if that's the price or if that's something to do with the size. Look at all these pots. I wonder if they have the terrace jars. Oh, these are kind of neat, these ones down here. I do like that shape. I'm trying to be unobtrusive here. So that I'm not disturbing anybody else. I don't see any terrace jars. Worker over there diligently watering. Oh, look at all these salvias. Killer cranberry. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Let's see, hardy to five degrees. Oh, that would live at my house. And Wendy's Wish, hardy to 25. Might not make it out of my place. But one thing about it, I could get this one and make take cuttings just like I did on my recent video. I wanted to do get one plant. Let's see, more terracotta pots. Whoop. Now, those are similar to something I'm looking for. This is the other side of that fence. I really like this fence. Like it has the little With your new cutting machine, you can cut out the shapes for all the boards. <laughs> Shrubs. Walk along the path and they've got things planted. Oh, look up here, these little bugs. They are so cute. Oh, is that a, oh that's a bird? Oh, these are supposed to be peacocks. Those are cute. Over here, they have more little statuaries. When you walk around, oh, it's got little buildings. It is so cute. I love this. Look at over there, there's a French flower. I need to replace the one that the snow busted and broke. I love the dark leaves on that. Let me go look at what that is called. That one is ever red fringe flower. Isn't that gorgeous, that dark foliage? Beautiful, they're a huge size. I wonder if they have smaller size. Look at this one. That, you have a pr I love it when they prune it up like that and you can see the structure of the trunks. That just makes it so artistic. Oh, listen to that bird. I wanna walk around the gardens. They have, I guess they call them display gardens. Oh, these are cute little rock critters. <laughs> and they're carrying stuff on their head. I guess they're supposed to be like ants. Oh, look at the lizard. Going across there. So you see how it has a little seating area up there. More little busy, busy ant critters. One's on a little motorbike. <laughs> All of them are little motorbikes. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this one's a stagecoach. Look at that one. <laughs> these are cute. I like whimsy in the garden like that. And also they have little, I guess they've moved their tables around. Oh, there's an airplane put in the garden. Maybe they sometimes have table and chairs set up here to display. See what is the garden? I mean that little airplane. This is 170. this behemoth bush, hedge. It looks like Euonymus, but I'm not sure what it is. Alstromeria in there. Oh, here's the musicians. Ant musicians. <laughs> that one looks like it's dancing. Walk up the path. Oh, look at that tree. 
I am not certain of what that is, but isn't that gorgeous? It looks like a pine of some kind and that has those purple flowers on it. Well, here's a close-up of the flowers. Let me get that on there. Isn't that pretty? Looks like sweet peas, doesn't it? I have no idea what that is. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, this is a Leptospermum scopumum. It's a tea tree. It's the one that has the red little red flowers on it I showed you out in the parking lot. Very interesting. Nope. <laughs> I have two pencils holding up the arbor. But actually, those are the. Oh, this is a little children's area with their dinosaur sculptures. This is cute. Little raised beds. Looks like they need to plant them. Maybe they do with veggies. Oh, look, there's a jasmine on that arbor. It looks like it's swamping it. It must do well here. And then right past that hedge is the main road. I think that's a lilac. I didn't know they'd be blue already. It's a white one. Oh, there's a hardy geranium. Obviously doing well here. Mine won't bloom for a little while. That's kind of neat to walk through the different gardens. It looks like here's coming up called the cottage sign. Look down here. And there's the little cottage. That breeze is cool. Oh, and they've got a little bridge. And it's like a man-made stream coming through. It's rather inspiring to have all this all planted up this way. I'm definitely gonna look for that pine tree that looks like it has sweet pea flowers on it but it's probably not hardy in my area, but it's still neat to look, you never know. Oh, it looks like something will be going limp. I'll left that tree in the neighbor's yard here. Not pretty. There's a gazebo down there. My path snakes around down there, but it doesn't look like there's a whole lot down there right now. Maybe that's the shade garden. Here, <laughs> here's a cactus. If you can't grow a cactus, that'll work. Oh, look at this big circle area. I'm not sure what it's for, but it's an interesting patio area. Oh, timber bamboo, look at that. That'll make some great garden stakes. Euphorbia. Euphorbia. Yeah, that, that chartreuse color really outstanding. I don't want to put ants in my car. <laughs> More easy to grow. So around that we went around that way and came around. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna look and see if I can find that one plant and then we'll walk some more. Okay, this is the front of the cute little cottage. And all the plantings here. Stuff that would be hardy here. And here's some more of those salvias. I do believe that's a lighter purple. Is that a salvia? Let me look. Floma purpurea, Jerusalem sage. Okay, it's not a salvia, it's a, it's a sage, but isn't that gorgeous? I think a big and that would be beautiful. What's it hardy down to 10 degrees? Oh, that would live. Isn't that just so interesting? 
I know, I need more property. Is this the kangaroo paw? I hadn't seen a yellow. I could be wrong though. It's not a plant I'm super familiar with. Okay, they have little ones of this in little containers. Well, they're not that little, but smaller containers of them. So how much is it? $16. Ooh, I'm gonna have to take one home. It's a good price. Okay, so I have to remember that as I go around. And there's those again. So, just beautiful. Okay, this is one side and there's much more on the other. Let me see what we got over here. These look like Cyanothus, let me see. These are um, California lilacs. They're not a lilacus, but they're a Cyanothus, which is, yep, Joyce Coiter Cyanothus. Hardy to 10 to 15. And those are beautiful. I had gotten one, King Sip. That's a beautiful one. They take uh, very dry conditions, but they're really, I saw them when we were driving this direction and they covered hillsides with this blue, which was just gorgeous. And there's several colors of blue. The ones that Annie Annuals has, there's quite a selection if you want to plant a California native. That comes in various shades of blue and smells pretty. It smells so pretty over here. Here's another one. It's a little more subdued, but still beautiful. There's a Matia hot poppy. I wonder if that was a lot of natives there, because it seemed like they had a lot of natives. Look at these trellises. That one has fish motif. They're quite pretty. Oh, there that looks like a tea house. Let me back up and I can turn around and show you. I'm trying to look at plants and take in everything. Yep, tea house, bonsai. One more. That's a pretty good idea. To feature your bonsai and Japanese garden stuff. All their statues. Look, oh, koi pond, look at here. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, this is where that stream comes down to. This is just, everywhere you turn, there's just a gorgeous little vignette. Bamboos and, ooh, a black bamboo. Every time I go to Green Acres, they are out. Oh yes, the black bamboo. I wonder if I have smaller pots. I don't, that won't fit in my car. I guess maybe I'll just have to keep my eye out at uh, Green Acres. Look, honey. Actually, honey, look. The black bamboos. Now you see why I want it? Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. I was sharing with my husband. Oh, look at down there. Is that a, like, it looks like ground magnolia. I've never seen that before, have you? Let's see if I can zoom it in for you. Isn't that different? Hmm. Obviously like shade, because this is a shady area. There we go, let's get you back. So we go through this gate. Oh, look at that. It's a little enclosure made with branches lashed together and whatever vine is growing on it. And another with a bunch of shade plants. This is quite fun. Looking through the little fairy garden. Look at this, that big old tree going through the pergola and all these different, different plants. Oh, look at this Japanese maple here. It's kind of getting backlit, huh? Let me get up closer. 
What is this? Twombly's Red Sentinel. Oh. Sorry, it wasn't focusing. <laughs> I got so busy looking for the name, I didn't think to tell it to focus for you. Look at all of these different Japanese maples. Oh, look at this real pretty green one. Shishiga, oh boy, that's a name I can't even pronounce, but isn't that beautiful? Such a structure. Oh, I'm afraid to look at the price. Let me look really quick. $142. That is just gorgeous though. Is this the same? Yeah, that's the same. Look at that. So interesting with those clusters. Look at the leaf clusters. Is it not focusing? Yeah, there it went. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, more. This must be all the shade garden area. And this is where the, I said the path winds back down again. So, oh, look at this beautiful fountain. And the only thing is with the concrete in winter for us, we get such cold, cold snaps that I'm afraid it would freeze the water. It would rain and the water would freeze in it and crack it. So, oh, look at here, this cute little fairy garden in a bucket. These are cute. Lots more plants down there, camellias. They would do beautifully here. Garden medicine, they call that there. Oh, look at they got a little greenhouse. Looks like the little one you could get at Costco. This is their tropical little and carnivorous plant wonderland in there. Well, look at their nasturtiums are going crazy. Those are beautiful. They big old look at the vines on that thing. Massive. Mine never get that big. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, it looks like we're coming up to some geraniums. Pelargoniums. Oh, look at this one. That's an interesting one. So pretty, nice and big. And then these. Oh, look what they've done with a piece of fence and a board made it into a bench, display bench. Okay. Beautiful. No, I'm trying hard to be stay out of people's way. Look at these. These are cute. With like sea glass balls on top. There's more garden shop there. Oh, look at this. I love it. Definitely probably wouldn't grow in my house, but I love that. Let's see, what is it called? Pantua buxtifolia. Hmm. Just look at that. Oh, I love these succulent bowls. I would love to do one. And a lot of succulents live at my house because they're alpine plants. And I live in an alpine area. Okay. Wow, there's a fountain. Big barbecue area here. They must have to do things, entertain. There's another, is this the sweet pea bush? I don't know, I know they sell something similar. Oh, there's a nice, I see there's a terrace jar. And that is something I'd like to do with one. Okay, like the donkey. Bunch of arbors. And there's the gift shop over there. Look over here, they have more. Arbors, look at this thing, fully planted. It's got snapdragons, violas, pansies. Just, oh, nasturtiums. I can't get over how thick the stems are on those. Just gorgeous. And there's a bunch of 
dirt, soils, obviously where they come in, and there you have it, our beautiful little garden center. My plant hauler, <laughs> putting them all in. I bought some ivy geraniums and I bought um, this golden green feather plant and a hardy geranium called David. So I'll turn around and I'll say goodbye to the Cambria Nursery. It was a treat and I'm sure I'll be back. Just too pretty. So we had a lot of fun there. Bought me some plants and just we're gonna go to lunch now. So I will see you in my next video. Don't know what I'll have, but it should be fun. All right, bye.